OK, let's have a look at easy ways of writing formulas between sheets. What I've got here is a, an example workbook that's got some data on sheet 1 and I want to put some summary data on sheet 2. So I want to write a formula that looks at data on sheet 1. Now, um, the function that I want to use is lookup and you'll see what that does in a second. But uh, um, the first value that I want is this date next to the cell that I'm working in. So I'm just going to click on that. And if you've not, if you've always previously typed your formulas, this is a very reliable way of getting the right um, uh, the right cell reference into your formula. And if you get it wrong, you can see I've just highlighted a range there. That's completely complete garbage. What I actually want is that. You just keep going until you get the right one. And then I can put my comma in, and you know this bit's gone bold, so I'm now doing the lookup vector. Now this is one of the things that uh, is on sheet one. So in exactly the same way as I've done with this cell, I can go to sheet one and click on the column that I want, and then a comma, and then the other column that I want. Now what what lookup's doing is it's looking that data up in this column, finds out where it appears, and then returns the corresponding value in the in, in the second column that I've given it. But this isn't about lookup. This is about writing these formulas across sheets. So when I've finished, I simply just hit the Enter key. And you'll see, there we are, there's the formula put in. And it's done all the writing of the sheet name, the exclamation mark, and all that. Um, you can just type those in if you want to. Um, but there are other rules that you'll, you'll never, well, everybody always forgets them. Like if you've got spaces in your sheet names, then you get apostrophes around the sheet name and things like that. So I find it always best to try and just click on the on the cell on the ranges or cells that I want. Now that's fine, um, but we were flicking backwards and forwards between sheets, so wouldn't it be nice to be able to see both sheets at once? And there is a way. Uh, in 2007, 2010, it's on the View tab, View New Window. Uh, in 2003, look for the Window menu, and you'll find Window New Window. It does exactly the same thing. And if you look at the very at the uh, bar at the very top of uh, the Excel window, you'll see it now says file name and then colon 2. And that means I've got two windows open for this workbook. And if I want to see both of those windows together, I use the Arrange All button on the View tab. View Arrange All. And again in 2003 it's Window Arrange. And here we go, we get a dialog box, Arrange Windows. And you can choose different ways of arranging them. Tiled generally is, is, is quite a good one. Uh, if you've got lots of workbooks open, um, this will, if you untick this box, it will arrange all of the workbooks so you can see multiple workbooks. If you've only got this one open, if you only want to see the windows of this one, tick the tick the box that says Windows of Active Workbook, and then you'll, it'll only tile the windows of, in this case, last batch before. So hit OK, and there we are. I've now got two windows showing me the same workbook. So anything I do in either window affects that file, last batch before .xls. So I want to see the summary data in the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I want to see sheet 1. And there we go. That's nice and easy. So if you're writing a formula, if I'm writing a formula, I can now select ranges within that second window. There's one extra step, though. So let's just rewrite this for the purposes of demonstration. Equals lookup. Again, click on the cell reference rather than typing it in. The lookup vector. Now that's one of the columns over here. Um, and this one extra step is that before you can use this window, you have to click on it to select the window and it's only after you've clicked on it that you can then start doing things and there we go there's that one comma this window's still selected so I can now just be working in that and you get a very clear view you can see over here your summary sheet you can see over here the data you're working on and up here you can see uh, the formula and that is a very very simple way of writing formulas between sheets uh, once you're finished all you need to do is close the windows that you don't want maximize the one that you do um, and there we are all done